Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a little quick down and dirty introduction to our next and final project, the researched argument. You'll find all the information you need about the specifics of this uh, located elsewhere on the website. Uh, but just keep in mind that this project is worth a total of 200 points possible and that the points come in little chunks. Some things are due each week uh, and those are absolutely due on Monday night. There's no extension of deadlines for these pieces. That's my attempt to help us all stay on track and stay focused and move through this process as easily as possible. Uh, so this week what you need to do is produce a research proposal. I'll, I've ex I'll explain that for you uh, elsewhere in the website, but that basically means you have to pick a topic and you have to partic uh, uh, start to p pick your position on the topic. So two things in this little video, and then I'm going to make another little video that will guide you through the uh, library's online databases, which is what you'll be using for most of this research. So the first thing is that your topic must be arguable. So your paper can't be about global warming. It's got to take a position on global warming, for instance. You think it's man-made, you think it isn't. Uh, whatever the topic you choose to write about, you have to take a position on the topic. Some of you will go in with topics you're passionate about that you already feel strongly about. That's great. Uh, some of you will go in and explore a topic and come to a position on it, which is actually even better. That's what this project is designed to do. But remember, in the end, your topic must be arguable. And there will be there's an exercise in the forum this week that will help us uh, talk about that idea. The second thing is this incredibly useful resource that I've put up for you from Baylor University. It's a research project management tool and you plug your due date into the thing and it plans out the whole process for you, uh, tells you when you should be doing what and even will send you emails if you want it to to remind you what you should be doing like today you should be doing this over here. It's an incredibly useful tool for staying on track uh, and the machinery will do a lot of the, the work of keeping you on track. It'll do it for you. So I recommend using that. I'm not going to force you to do it, but man, I sure would use it. Okay, so that's it on this little intro video. I'm going to get this up and then there will be another one about the online databases. Okie dokie. Bye.